Hi guys, it's Erin the Tacky Painter and we're just going to jump right in today. I've got my 8x10 inch canvas sheet from Fredericks and I'm just using phthalo green and burnt sienna at the top and as I work my way down I'm adding more and more yellow just to lighten it up as it goes down the page. We're going to be painting a bumblebee today. So I just got my chalk, I sketched in the center of the flower that he's going to be sitting on and I'm using my Diox Purple and Titanium White and just making some really streaky petals. Trying to vary the color for each one. Remember you can use any colors that you want. And I'm using Liquitex Basics paints today but you can use craft paints or professional paints, whatever kind you want and whatever kind fits your budget. So I just took green and purple mix them together and filled in the stem and now I'm taking yellow and orange and filling in the center. I'm not worried about if it's streaky or uneven. This is an impressionistic painting so I don't have to be exact. Filling in more of my petals with streaky mixture of white and purple. lightening up some spots. Now I've got my white chalk and I'm sketching in my bumblebee. This night, this might not be exactly to scale, but that's all right. I just wanted to paint him big because he's cute. I used a sponge there in the center just to add some yellow and more texture. And I've actually got a makeup brush that I'm using for the bee's body. I bought them cheap and I wanted to try them and they work actually pretty well. I was surprised. So first I filled in with just solid color, now I'm coming back to add more texture. Darker towards the bottom and lighter towards the middle of him, just to make him seem more round and 3D. Now I'm adding his fuzzy little legs. And his antenna more highlights and I'm using the same chalk again to draw in his wings and I like chalk because you can just come back and erase it with some water if you decide that you don't like where you put it and I'll put in the description below all the materials that I used for this just coming back with more highlights if you enjoy this painting, feel free to click the thumbs up, leave a comment, um, leave your suggestions if you have any for what I should paint in the future, and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified every week when I add new videos. And I'm pretty much done with this, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you paint your own bumblebees, and remember there's always something to look forward to, and I look forward to painting with you guys again next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.